What's up everyone? This is RM Come Back To Me. New music from RM ahead of his project that will be coming out later this month. Welcome everybody and if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you probably remember the series I did on RM's Indigo album and the series I started on the mono mixtape that he has which I do plan on continuing. Sorry that the pause on that has been so long but thank you so so much for your patience. And here we are now with Come Back To Me so with all of that said let's go. colors. You don't have to be, you don't have to be the anything you say Try not to be, try not to be, that's something in this say I told you I'm fine and I stay good Spring's always been here, I will sleep in her eyes I'm 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, this was really cool. And right now my brain is trying to condense all of these thoughts into just a little bit of time. I'm trying to be right here with it. I don't wanna go on and on. But let me say this, this is only what comes to my mind because I do not know what the true intended meaning was of everything, honestly. So let's talk about it. Musically, I love what he's doing vocally because there are moments where he's singing not only the melody, but the octave of that, you know, one is higher, one is lower, and it adds some emphasis to what he's singing at the time. I also love what the band is doing. Um, I feel like the music has a swinging quality to it, you know, and it really helps tell the story a bit more. It fits the mood and it adds this sense of motion to everything. Visually, I'm not surprised by what we see here because from what I understand of RM so far, he's very tuned into like a fine arts sort of perspective and the architecture that we see here and the shapes, the different types of lighting that we see. All of that is really playing a role in telling this story. Everything from the windows to the colors, the browns, the blues, the greens, the different types of pillows and colors of pillows and the different walls, everything. Even the structure itself has this area in the middle where it's outside so the light is able to pour in, but we are able to see that the structure has like a square slash like circle or just cyclical nature to it. And that really fits the story, at least from what we can see so far, because he's going through these different areas and times of life and, you know, going round and round. One of the main things that comes to mind for me is rediscovering yourself because you can be in this weird place where you're not quite sure who you are to you, but other people have an idea of who you are to them. And in the beginning of the video, we see him cycle through these different scenarios with people, but he's sort of zoned out or confused as to what's happening. And to me, that is an example of what you might feel like when you just don't really know who you are. And so you're in these different situations with people, but you don't really feel present. You don't really feel like you're all the way there. And then at some point, this woman appears and she appears to be looking for him, but when he sees her, he does not show himself. Instead, he goes the other way. And this goes on for a little while until he actually sees himself for the first time. And it isn't until he sees himself that he's then able to connect with her. And again, this is just my interpretation of that moment because there are different ways you could interpret him seeing himself or just him looking in that direction and then you see him looking across again and then she appears, it, it could be taken different ways. And I don't know who she is or what she represents, but to me, their connection felt like home. It felt comforting. It felt like something at the soul level. And this is interesting to me because he finally seems at home within himself. And up until this point, we've seen him navigate these different home situations and structures in a different way. Given he actually saw himself, it wasn't until that moment that he was able to then connect with other people, seeing yourself in order to see others. And it's after this moment that we are able to see him in those same situations, but totally different, being more present, being happier, toasting the person next to you, really connecting with those in your life. And whether that woman represents an actual person or maybe an idea or anything else, it does remind me of how there are things, including particular relationships that we might have, where they can help remind us of who we really are. Okay, so as for the end, <sighs> so I think the times inside of the rooms, inside of the home, are the times when he is out in the world. And once he was able to walk out the door, I think the path that exists, all those paths that exist in between the structures, are his internal journey and perspective. And it looked as if those same rooms exist in several different areas, perhaps, like different timelines. And based on how you see yourself at a given moment really influences how you show up in the present and how you view the past. But it's really cool to think about, and I feel like there's so much more that you could do to 
really dig further into the song and the different meanings. But that is it for now. So I want to say thank you so much for watching up to this point, for supporting and just taking the time out of your day to watch this review. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you are able to be present in your life within yourself and to show up with other people and just be in the moment. Also, if you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know and I will totally consider those. But that is it. So please take care of yourselves, be well, and I will check y'all out later.